Eric Trump went on Clay Clark's show. It's some mm. conservative commentator. Bradley, can you give me some context on this? Well, well, guy. so okay. Clay Clark, Clay Clark is a um, he is Country one of the guys. Star. Yeah, he's one of I the assume. heads of, of like uh, the Awaken America yeah. tour thing. There's like him, General Gen, General Flynn, and Eric Trump have like a, a kind of done a, a traveling <laughs> traveling uh, event circuit around the country. But he's like an Oklahoma religious zealot who has the talk show. But this woman, Amanda Grace, that he's with also is like another evangelist commentator. She is like the owner of an animal sanctuary, and she's like really, really religiously fervent. Um, in some of these clips, I I watched like 40 minutes of this. Um. Two, two times speed it wasn't that much time um you can hear like birds squawking in the background of her of her shot while she's while she's holding prayer so um but th that's some background it was like like what show eric trump decided to like join to the last week to talk about his you know upbringing to, to, to talk about his upbringing and how uh people don't really misunderstand people really misunderstand him right they they're they were not the snobs they were not wealthy they were essentially just regular folks you know not flying first class, please, please. Sometimes Eric Trump would fly business class or even coach when he was working construction under his parents. Now, my guess is that the construction is just like flying to different Trump properties around the world and pointing at things. But this is just like a good glimpse into how these uber wealthy kids have to justify their existence and pretend like, no, they don't did get here just because of daddy. And this is a bit of a longer clip, but I think it's worth it because this is just Clay Clark uh, prefacing this by just being like, you are so awesome <laughs> for like two minutes straight american people see that uh more so than any one here. singular issue yep. Amanda, a, a slight, slight rant here, but before all this okay. reawakened America tour stuff, I used, to keynote, I used to keynote a lot of small business events. Okay. And a lot of times you'll have a very small business where you'll have a very excited owner who insists on fly, flying private and he won't talk to anybody behind the scenes. I've seen this so many times. I go to the, I would go out to speak to a small business event and there's a guy with, you know, 20 employees or less who insists on fly, uh, flying on a private jet and he will not shake the hands of other people and he will avoid them because he is awesome in his mind. When Eric comes yeah, to positive. these events, I, I ran into people in Phoenix who- Yeah, most capitalists are degenerate assholes and they're asocial. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the update. <laughs> <laughs> I like his little, like his, um, his, I, I want to assume that's his rap name in uh, quotation marks in between Clay and Clark. Clay, it's not, not scared of monkeypox, Clark. <laughs> like, yeah. Jesus Man, Christ. Am I, you idiot. Uh, it's like, it's like how they introduced the cast members on the Jersey shore. Jenny, uh, J Wow. Oh, wow. Uh, that's, that's him. Who said he was on my flight. And I go, who was on your flight? No, because <laughs> they go, he was on my flight. They were whispering. I go, who? They go, Eric was on our flight. And I'm, and so I, I, I asked Eric. I said, Eric, are, are you rolling commercial? He goes, yeah, I fly commercial a lot. I'm Whoa. in the air, two hundred and something days a year. And I go, w w what was that like? And he was telling me about, you know, people are chanting, uh, you know, we love you. They're chanting, uh, you know, we love you. They're chanting USA. Oh, pause it, pause it, pause it. I'm short. Sure you know, I'm sure they're chanting a lot of things when they see. We Eric love you. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sure. Entire maybe... plane just just erupts in applause when Eric Trump walks on it to fly coach. I, I wouldn't recognize Eric Trump. He yeah. just looks like some guy, some corporate white guy. We love you is uh, let's go, Brandon, for go fuck yourself, Eric. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of different chants he hears. Yeah. Every everyone knows that any three syllable chant is actually code for lock her up. That's what I've been told <laughs> by the media. And I, I do like how when Clay, not scared of monkey pox, uh, Clark, uh, like mimics someone talking about like Eric Trump being on the plane. It's like that one scene from the Twilight Zone. William Shatner has like a troll on the wing. He's like, it's on the wing. there's just something on the wing. <laughs> and that, that, that thing is like Eric Trump. Yeah. yeah. Also, can we just pause to appreciate the uh, backgrounds we got going on in all three? Like, we had, of course, like my daddy's building corner corner office, but this Amanda Grace stuff with like the light up tree and like a birdhouse. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know. And who's this random with man her. named Chris. Is that her husband? <laughs> no, she just was like, Chris is with us for the interview today. Oh, no, no to... more. No more. On, I, I mean, maybe other, you know, more Arc of Grace like Ministries viewers know who this guy is, but he's just chilling throughout I, the whole I thing. thought it might have been like a Michelle or not a Michelle Bachman situation. Situation, a Mike Pence situation where uh, if she's zooming with two other men that there has to be <laughs> her male partner <laughs> present. These... I can't see I can't see Clay's background. What is it? Is it 
it's it's a it's his studio brick. Brick. it's his studio it's a um brick. it's his studio like in and 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 before in the before in the clip they're like all of our staff is so pumped to see eric and you see like a bunch of like white people in that and those pane glass like <laughs> cheering <laughs> i um, like it though because it's for me it's these are the three types of properties they show every couple on house hunters you know you got the, like, exposed brick loft the like grandma's house full of like knickknacks and then like the ultra modern like glass white walls like chrome thing yeah but yeah, he's in too, a skyscraper like, and then there he's yeah. the man of the people right if eric trump was flying like not first class it's because his dad doesn't like him that's just yeah. that's just the reality of it like i would believe some of the stories that he's telling are true if only because trump would think it's funny to like give his sons who he does not care for obviously like really shitty jobs while like ivanka got like really cool jobs like how many times was Eric Trump on The Apprentice versus like Ivanka or something. I'm sure there's like a number out there. It's probably not that many. I would just be hazard to guess. Or if it is many, it's because he has nothing else to do because Ivanka is doing like her daddy's real work. Yeah. So, I mean, I would believe that Eric Trump has flown like first class. I believe that Trump would make him walk somewhere like P. Diddy did to that one couple in uh, making the band. to get. <laughs> so, like, what? that doesn't mean anything to me. No, I mean, the only reason Eric Trump ever ended up in coach or business class as opposed to first is because uh, his dad's secretary Harry booked it in the wrong way and didn't do maximum on the ticket. Anyway. The conference are saying he's on the flight. And this is the difference between Eric Trump and Hunter Biden and the difference between President Trump and Joe Biden. The, the Trumps are people of the people. Another example, I went to visit Eric in Florida. I pull up the guy who greets me and checks my ID. He was great. Then afterwards, he tells me, he says, I love working with the Trumps. I just want you to know they're great. I had a press pass, Amanda, to go to President Trump's White House, uh, to his, his rally in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So yes. I had a press pass to cover the event. And I happened to run into three people, two of which happened to be black. And they proceeded to tell me about what it was like to work for the Trump construction company 10 years ago. And why they love him. And I'm just telling you, these are okay. All right. I'm sorry. I need to Trump's pause it. Because... Uh, I'm from the New York area, and I will say that my boyfriend's dad works in construction, and uh, like n they're not very political, the, the, his family, but knows from reputation everybody in the New York area that has ever worked in construction and everybody. dealt with the Trumps goes, this guy is a crook, like, and all yeah. of my colleagues know it, everybody knows it. That's what um, I've heard too. I, there's like a winner. I was watching a documentary about the Trump family being crooks, and there was like one of they had one of the winners from um, The Apprentice on, and he was saying that after he won The Apprentice and people associated with him with Trump, no matter where he went in the world, people would just like stop him and tell personal stories about how Trump had wronged him and yes. had wronged them in some kind of like business deal or like some kind of didn't social situation. Didn't pay their contractors, didn't pay their employees, like payments late, screwed over, Known cheaped scammer. out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway. I mean, the, the, what we're basically hearing here is Clark, uh, I'm not afraid of monkeypox, whatever his name is, Clay Clarkson or Clay, whatever his name is. He's basically saying that everyone he knows is a huge a-hole. And then he met a rich guy who takes commercial flights. And that is enough for him to say, this is a good man. I mean, <laughs> I mean and Eric he condescended to us, everybody. <laughs> Eric eats it up too, right? Like Eric is just like, yes, this this is all true. About I also, me. I also, oh, yeah. I also like that he says that he says I met two guys who worked for for you who were black, by the way, yeah. and they loved you. <laughs> You're so not racist at all. Jesus, all right, keep going. They're actually aware of inflation. Why? Because Eric has to then raise the price of food in the restaurants, raise the price of everything, raise the price of the hotel room rates. I run businesses. It affects me. It affects your listeners, Amanda. It affects the Trump family. It does not People affect run the deep state individuals out there. They, I mean, the, the Bidens have never had That's a That's so funny. They didn't Pause. Even go Sorry. Into business until they got it. But the idea that there's like the gu the deep state individuals versus capitalists is uh, ridiculous to anybody who's ever looked at the history of like American clandestine uh, activities, which is all in service of capitalists, and, uh, particularly like making sure we have access to oil and different si sites of uh, minerals, right? Like <laughs> the idea that it's the deep state versus these business owners is very, very ridiculous.
get into politics. So I just encourage everybody out there. I hope this can be something. If you're listening today, I hope you know that the Trumps are the real deal. And I don't put them up as perfect, but I can tell you that's one of the most encouraging things I've discovered this year, Amanda, was meeting people at the Reawaken America tour who have flown on a commercial plane with Eric. And then they're going, he's so nice. He actually uh-huh. moved out of the way for someone to sit next to him. He is, he is very nice. What yeah, a you know, I yeah that's like a normal, normal, normal thing for you to do. Yeah, we Common like, courtesy. Before I played, going over to Czechoslovakia, my mom would always make us fly. We were Slow in down, PWA yeah. flights, right? This is mm-hmm. when they had the smoking section on the flight. And so my mom oh, would be like, and she'd be like, <laughs> you guys aren't sitting up front. There's no freaking way you guys are saying. She actually used a, a worse word than that, right? Just to try and convey how adamant she was about oh her position. Oh, my God. They got some time and to so fill, we'd huh? Be sitting, Ivanka Don and I would be sitting in the smoking section. So we'd be next to this 300-pound man who was literally chiefing Marlboro Reds. My little lungs, my, like, you know, uh, prepubescent lungs. <laughs> That's a great story. This is worse than when I count They were, they were the burning shows. inside. Like, you never had. Hey, kid, you want to smoke? You smoke and, and you're. Uh-huh. You're, you're in this so good that we outlawed uh, that 747 <laughs> you know literally next to this big guy smoking cigarettes putting them out in the ashtray right where the armrest was you guys remember these flights very, yeah very bro well. mm-hmm. but, but that that's how we were born guys you know everybody thinks that we were flying around on the concord as we you know as as children in first class drinking you know mimosas <laughs> no, no, no. Not with Ivana Trump, and trust me, not with Donald Trump. I mean, okay, children drinking mimosas? <laughs> no, they were smoking. They weren't drinking, smoking. obviously. I was rebar with acetylene torches. I was doing electrical oh, work. Please. I was doing plumbing work. I mean, for a day. Plumbing I work? Here. I did for like, yeah, like he put on some, he, he like used a, a monkey wrench. <laughs> like, he, he, can I just, he, he, can I just he did Habitat for Humanity for college, like, uh, uh, padding on his, like, application. Can I Trump just point out sure. here that oh. Clay Clark just went on a two minute long rant talking about what a nice guy Eric Trump was to the everyday people, but he flies commercial. He's a he's a normal person like you and me. He's moving out of the way for people, treating everyone so kindly. And the second it's Eric Trump's turn to talk, he goes, Yeah, I remember sitting in commercial when I was a kid next to this yeah. 300 pound slob commoner. Like what? flying to Czechoslovakia, <laughs> flying to Europe. <laughs> like, I definitely people. believe that, like, you know, Donald Trump senior had like Eric and Donald Trump junior, like project managing and like really like vague air quotes, uh, like, you know, really terrible renovations for his really terrible hotel properties in Manhattan, just so to have them do something like, you know, I, I, I bet that's how like those two black guys know Eric because they were just like, you know, working on some work site that he kind of breezed into one day to see if all the fixtures were kind of looking all right. And then breezed out of to go, I don't know, get beaked up, uh, allegedly uh it is just like you know that's not like most people's experience with jobs though like being given like a project management role he wasn't like building anything in construction he was just like hanging out on construction sites sort of yeah but and it's just like again when when rich kids do stuff like that it really is just one it's either cosplay for their parents to just feel better about Mm -hmm. spoiling their kids or in their instance i'm sure it was just some college application scheme and can we just appreciate that this is a very like conservative show and they basically just had a guy come on and say isn't it i mean implicitly he didn't say it's explicitly but isn't it good that we stopped people being able to smoke on airplanes yeah <laughs> right i mean like, the government I got, I got did the, that <laughs> i got the message you know the trumps are just are slobs just like you and i are that's why they buried their mom in like the parking lot or something it, it's it's the whole thing